Hey everyone, so today this video is going to be a little review sort of thing on the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday perfume. So to start off, this is the box. Um, as you can see it is very blingy and gold and it says Nicki Minaj on all the sides. Then there's this picture where I think she looks very beautiful. Um, and then, you know, it's a massive box. Um, this is the 50ml version. It comes in 30ml and um, 100ml as well. There are certain selected places where if you order this perfume you get this for free which is a laptop case. Um, it's got the Nicki Minaj branding on the thing and this as well. So yeah, it's good that you get that for free. So this is the bottle itself. Um, it is a tad freaky um, but at the same time I still kind of like it um, as you can see she's got this like gold metallic head thing going on and this pink wig and you know there's the bottle is frosted um, which sort of makes the actual liquid look frosted even though it's not um, and then to spray it you pull her head off so this bit reminds me of I think it's um, is it Jean-Paul Gaultier that does the sort of bust um, perfumes but yeah you can't say that you don't know whose perfume this is because this is just Nicki Minaj just completely Nicki Minaj uh, she's got the pink lips as well in there um, yeah it's quite a big bottle it's bigger than I was expecting it to be um, so yeah so this perfume to me when you first spray it on it's a fruity sort of sweet smell like most celebrity perfumes are. Um, it is an Eau de Parfum, so it will last a little bit longer than Eau de Toilettes. Um, I haven't found that though, when I've sprayed it on I've sort of not noticed it after a little while, um, which is a shame because I do really like how it smells. Um, but yeah, you sort of get a vanilla, fruity, musky sort of thing. Um, the top notes are in this, I've got my little notes. Um, starfruit, mandarin and boysenberry which is, I think it's raspberry and blueberry combined together. I love blueberry, <laughs> I've said this a lot in a lot of videos recently but blueberry is amazing. Um, the heart notes are gardenia, is that how you pronounce it? Um, lotus and jasmine and the base notes are vanilla, caramelised pear, musk and sort of woody sort of scents. Um, I mainly get the sort of fruity, florally sort of scent. Um, um, it might just be a case of when it wears out, I can't smell the musky sort of scent, but you know, maybe I'm just more tuned in to smell the fruit and the sweetness and stuff. Um, but yeah, if I was to compare this to any other perfume, I would definitely say it was. Um, it, the perfumes I have, I'd say that it was closest to Meow by Katy Perry, if anybody has that one. I love Meow by Katy Perry so much um, and it does set, share a few sort of um, notes with it as well like Katy Perry has got tangerine, this one's got mandarin but they're sort of along the same lines, um, pear, jasmine, gardenia, I really don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but anyway, um, vanilla and musk. I must admit when I first sprayed this on I did think it smelled quite a lot of Meow um, with very subtle differences but if I was to pick between this one and Meow I would pick me out um, because I think it lasts a lot longer on me personally um, and yeah I do really like this one and I will definitely use it because it is a really beautiful sort of playful summery scent and I do really like that. If you already have Meow by Katy Perry um, it might be worth having a smell of this first to sort of see if it's too similar for you like if you think that it's too similar or whatever but yeah I do really like it and I've been using it every day since I got it and yeah although it doesn't last as long on me as I would like I do really like how it smells so yeah that is my little video on the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday perfume so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Adios!